If you're new to this channel, I make videos on Igbo spirituality, cosmology, and culture. If this is a topic that you are interested in, hit subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this. The best way to support this channel is by joining the Patreon at patreon.com slash the medicine show. As a thank you to my patrons, I offer full access to my library of over 400 books, articles, and studies on Odinani, Igbo cosmology, and history that I use for my own research. I also give patrons at all levels access to the digital Igbo lunar calendar that merges with your Google Calendar and tells you exactly which market day it is, which is very important as far as ritual goes, prayer and practice. It also lets you know what moon that we're in and gives you the full 13 moon lunar calendar, as well as the meaning of each moon and some things an individual should consider, as well as one of my favorite things about the Patreon, which is our Odinani group study, where we pick a topic and explore it in an open conversation. One of the last discussions we had was on the curse of the mask in the NBA and how much what was happening in the NBA paralleled what our ancestors had to say about masks as a whole, how masks are used in healing, transformation, trance, and building the self, as well as in confronting trauma. So if you're interested and you want to support the channel, join at patreon.com slash the medicine show. Interesting. Awesome. Yeah, no, you know, you're a mysterious figure. So it's, <laughs> I know I, that. I tried, to, I tried to stay obscure. Yeah. Because I, like, I, I, I see myself as a masquerade. Hey. So you, you're not supposed to uh, you're not supposed to know the person that is oh, wearing the masquerade man, man, wow. <laughs> like, very deliberate we're, oh, wow. so, okay. so we're, we're we're sort of like demystifying the masquerade right now but it's okay because okay. We, we we are in the age of knowing you know yes. we're in the age of that that requires us to know the things that that are hidden yeah. the things that were hidden from us like you know i and before you contacted me i was like i was thinking of, about like you know having some kind of a meeting with you but i was like you know let me let me let me let him let me let him you know you know like I, so i watch your video a lot like and Appreciate i it, yeah i i think that you're doing a great your work is great uh, because uh before before you came by there wasn't really anybody that was you know doing that that kind of work that our culture required and uh i try to do it sometimes <laughs> you know, i try to like get into doing that but i you know i i because all, i do a lot of things so i i don't I couldn't consistently do that. So when I saw you, I was like, okay, yes, I need, I need to support this guy because he needs to keep doing this because our people need this kind of platform to, to gain uh, a, a more extrapolating understanding of uh, 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 so many subjects in our culture. And like, because a lot of people are actually looking into Igbo culture now. You know, a lot of people are looking into our culture and they're looking for information. And so, like, your platform is very good for that. You know, okay. so I, 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 I'm thanking you for, you know, dedicating your time, you know, doing the work that you do because your work is also helping a lot. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. You know, yeah. what's funny is you're saying this, but I remember when I used to try to look to go further in these things, and the only people I would find, they, I mean, you can count them by hand, right? Mm, yeah, and, yeah. And when I say hand, I mean three fingers. It was yeah. you, <laughs> Evo Cyber Shrine, and that's all. That's all. Oh, yeah. Do. Yeah. Yeah. And so, but your own was interesting because you're telling the story visually. Yes, I. You're conveying the information visually. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 I. I, I realized that um, we needed because if, if you think about culture like you know the, the ancient cultures of the world like the ancient Egyptians the Sumerians 
like what what how how did we know how did we know that they existed it, it was through the the arts that they have out there the, the ancient arts to, that was dug up and the artifacts and all the things that they left you know the stellas uh, and, and so i i realized it's, it's not that i am thinking that evil will fade away but our people, the ancient Igbo people, do they believe in like in things being infinite or being eternal? Okay, and I mean, if they didn't believe in that, I don't think we would still be Igbo today. I think they they created some things that even some of our things were destroyed during during colonization, but. Uh, 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 they created things that we are timeless because they didn't want to be forgotten. So we, in order for us to, in order for us to, for Ibu to remain like infinite, and we have to keep remanifesting those ideas and 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 and, 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 and however we can, you know, in whatever way that you can. And so that was like what i have been trying to do for like the past uh seven years now like i've been just consistently trying to remanifest you know the way that our people saw the identifications and 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 how and and also like for example when i started it was like i see people like were scared of the deities the way oh. they look you know they were scared <laughs> like it was like i think talking about Igbo deities would it's like it's something frightening because it was because of due to christianity and you know so many there were so many spells casted on our people that you know to talk about our things people become frightened the yeah. evil people i mean you know they just don't want to even my own family even like when i try to talk like on during thanksgiving i try to like just just <laughs> <laughs> you know you know i try to lay something out <laughs> <laughs> you know i try i try to lay something yeah. out and that's like why you what is what why why are you talking about this where we're what yeah. is you know so it's <laughs> it, 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 so I, I had to I had to find a way to make our to, to make them the deification to make them look at for our people to look at them as something that oh like wow this is us yeah. so like you know like wow this is our own thing like this is you know I wanted to create something that would uplift our people and, and make them to think about our culture or like those deifications that they're scared of is just think of them or like ask a question at least what does that mean okay yeah. to then that, yeah. that, that that creates that's Wonderful. that's where it <laughs> the whole thing begins you know yeah no uh, man i love that and there's there's so much in what you said and so many little <laughs> i was like oh god i want to talk about that one and then another one comes i'm like so i got like yeah. like traffic jam of just different mm -hmm. things to say as far as what you said um well the the one that's really standing out right now is this idea of like the fear right yes is the fear and you know it's very obviously part of the control mechanism or the suppression mechanism that was imposed yeah. on people but i find it funny because when <laughs> when you're at home like if you're at home and you're dealing you're talking about these concepts the people that fear it the most are the people but this is the best way to put it the people that are always saying somebody's burying something in their backyard against them yeah are the always the yeah yeah you know yeah. Those who are comfortable with the tradition and comfortable with themselves, you realize that there's nothing to fear. Yeah. You understand. And yeah. in fact, we're just talking about life. So you fear I now means you fear the sun. You understand? Yeah. Exactly. You fear, exactly. You fear um, um or, 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 or even the or even the light or even the light within yourself. Yes. You're fearing, exactly. you're fearing, exactly. you're fearing exactly. the light within yourself as yes. well exactly. from, by doing that. Yeah. yeah, and it's, it's it's interesting too because when it comes to that issue of fear, I see it everywhere. It's worldwide, 
right? Yeah. So long as it comes from us, you know, I'm now I'm saying black people. Um, so long as it comes from us, the next thing is this weird fear apparatus, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, we're both here in America. If, if there's too many black people in one place, both mm -hmm. white and black people are afraid, right? Mm -hmm. If we're talking about um, uh, ancestors, all these different things, like somebody will be afraid of ancestors and we'll start mm -hmm. talking about angel, or not angel, uh, 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 Saint, Saint Michael and Saint this and Saint that. Yeah. But if you now say your own saints, your ancestors, yes. Yeah, yes. you start shaking, and it's like you're afraid of your grandfather or your great grandfather. Yeah. Which one? Yeah, and, and you know, I'm 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 from Enugu, by the way, um, but I grew up here in the U.S. and I I, I, only, I only went to primary school in Nigeria. But mm -hmm. there's a jaga. I don't know if you know a place called Ninth Mile. You know, Ninth Mile. Called, in, in, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's like it's a, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I I was I was down there around uh, February of this year. Okay. And there, there was a, there was a gigantic Jesus statue in Night Mile. Okay. So like, I, I was driving by and I just, I saw this. I parked somewhere. And I was, just, I just, I was just thinking like, what, what was going on in the minds of uh, the people that are putting this together? Like, it's really huge. Right. It's like a gigantic Jesus statue, and I'm like. What was going on in the minds of our people when they were doing it? It looks like a Caucasian man, like you know, of course, you, yeah, you can course. tell, like, yeah. <laughs> so, like <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 got, so, got like, yeah, 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 because like here in America, like, I've never seen like a black man creating a gigantic statue of a white man. Of, of a Caucasian man, and like, you know, and, and you see that, like, in, yeah, in an African country and you know it just shows like how lost our people are and it's not it's in so so lost that just saying that they're lost they find it to be disrespectful you know like but it's it's just to raise an awareness and I, I basically I define I define what is going on with our people with uh, how uh jordan peele portrayed uh you, you know have you seen the movie get out get out of course yeah okay yeah. so like yeah. if you see that movie yeah. you notice that like there were afro people in that movie that were like psychologically sedated yes okay so like i i think that's basically what's going on with you know our people like just not being able to see yeah. Everybody, you know, of course, everybody has a cheat, but you can convince, you can sit there and convince somebody that they don't have one and that, yeah. in fact, you have their cheat inside this box. Yeah. And then they go, okay. And they go, okay, yeah, now that you know this, follow me, follow me, follow me. I have yeah. you. And then they have you, right? Yeah. They have you. And that's yeah. what that is. Like what you were saying earlier with seeing that internal light. What happens when you just don't believe you have a light? When you don't see yourself as light, you understand. Mm -hmm. You seek plants grow towards light. You're gonna seek seek light elsewhere. You understand? Yeah. Now somebody else convinces you, I have light. Come this way. Come this mm -hmm. way. Come this way. All of a sudden, you're moving in this direction. You're doing things that move absolutely yeah. no sense. You understand? Yeah. 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 And you know, we yeah, that is very very true. And you know, our responsibility also is to help them see their own light yeah you know not necessarily follow our lights but right exactly see the, the their own light that they have within themselves and yeah. and fo follow their own spiritual journey you know because right. it's just like our fingerprints you know we have different different fingerprints this is the same way yeah. like, that which is actually what our people would do it, it is one of the definition of one of one of the things we call akaraka -aka, right you know so it's we you know, I when I saw that, that was one of the things that made me to even realize more of the responsibility that I had. Like when I saw that gigantic Jesus statue, you know, because they were still putting it together. They were still like building. I was just watching them like, <laughs> you know, it just helped me to like, help me more to, because sometimes, because there's, there's not enough encouragement. Yeah. Okay, because there's not enough of us. Right. There's only right. a few of us. So like, right. but then we we sometimes see things that will inspire inspire us to push further. 
you know, in illuminating the minds of our people so that they can be able to see and also understand that one of our biggest problem, the biggest problem we are facing as Afro people in DCOG is self-hate. Yes. We have so much self-hate within ourselves, which is why we're doing and, and it, it, while I, was, I, I have a, I have crazy imaginations and that's many of my imaginations are manifested in my art. So yeah. like I, I was just wondering like two people just fighting where that gigantic Jesus statue is like two <laughs> black people just fighting yeah. each other right there and, and it's just it is because like it's like we don't love ourselves and due to the fact that we don't love ourselves we don't love ourselves because we are not venerating ourselves as divinities we don't yes. We are not seeing the venerations of us as divinities. Even sometimes if you go to like a shop, like let's say you're going by a street in Nigeria, you just see one poster like that. You see, uh, like things like, I think, and Jamaica or something like that. It's stepping on the black guy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, like, in Nigeria, you see that picture. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, you, yeah. If you dare direct that picture in Rome itself, yeah. they'll burn that place out. Like, they'll be an issue. You see, but it, it's like, uh, it's like, the, it's like, the, it should be the national flag. Yeah, like, yeah, it's everywhere, man. It's everywhere. Like, you're going to go buy something, you just walk into a store and you see that, you just see the poster right there. <laughs> like, yeah. like, I feel like I'm having this discussion with, um, <laughs> having this discussion with, but I was, I think it's probably on one of my videos or something, but I was talking to somebody and I was saying that. You'll notice even, it's not even that Jesus will be like Caucasian in Nigeria or in Africa. I'll say Africa mm -hmm. as a whole. But in Europe, his type of Caucasian is like Italian. So you can say, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I kind of think. In like, Nigeria, he's not blonde or he has red hair. Like, it's like white, 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 white. Like, it's an exaggeration. You know what I mean? Yes, like, yes, like, yes. like Ed Kieran. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. And the and extreme version of that archetype that is you you know that this is not by accident. Yeah, yeah and like, yeah, and we are not being able to see the psychological effects of those things. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a it's a really big problem, bro. Right. It's a big problem. Right. That is part of our problem. Right. Because w when we have this kind of things everywhere, we still have little ones that are growing. They're seeing all these things. Yeah. These things generate self-hate. Yeah. It generates yeah. psychological... That's the foundation of self-hate right there. The but thing the fact that, it, you know... It's what? interesting. All war is, if you look at what war is, all war is, is two people trying to break each other's will. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. going to do everything possible to break your will. I'm going to hit you with missiles. I'm going to hit you with yeah. arrows bullets and whatever and if you keep fighting me i haven't won yet i have to break your will you understand mm -hmm. but what yeah. if i come in a situation where that will doesn't even exist once you see me mm -hmm. you, that I, I there's no will for me to have to push against right now yeah. your entire life you've been looking at this particular archetype and you've been mm -hmm. saying that's god, that's god that's god that's god and then now you and i are sitting across the table from each other and we have to negotiate an oil contract what are you going to tell me you understand? Yeah. Everything in your brain is wired to think that you're gone. Yeah. You understand? Oh, what are you going to tell me? That you want you want a, a higher percentage of your oil? It's not yeah. you. you can't oppose. Yeah. You know? And yeah, yeah, and that that's one of that's how you know how how did I I I, I came from I came from like an art directing world. Like I I went to the art institutes to learn how to create commercials. Like for like, I've always when I first came to the U.S. Like you know, like I I, I like around two thousand and three. Like when I see commercials, you know, yeah. on TV, I was like, yeah, I was, who, who made this? But I've always been into art. I've always been into art all my life. So, when, but when I see commercials on television, they're really funny. You see, like in Nigeria. The commercials in Nigeria, they're all very creative. Okay? Right, back, right. Then, they, they, back, yeah. back then, back then, back then, back then, not right now. Right now, they're doing very good. But back then, you know, when you're watching like NTA or something like that, the kind of television channels they had back then, they were not very creative. 
you know but when i came but i've always been into art and i've always been creating art all my life you know it's like something that came with me into this realm and when i when i came to the us you know like when i was in high school around 2003 like i would i'll be watching these commercials on on tv i was like i want to I'll, I'll be asking my brothers like what like the people that make this what are they called and he'll be like they call like art directors or something like that so ever since then i, I was like i'm gonna go to school and I'm, i want to divert into like learning how to make this stuff you know yeah. so that's what i basically studied and uh but one of the things i learned is that they they when you're like when i was in the art institute there were they sort of like try to make you do things their own way like not they don't give you much i feel like they don't give you much independence to create things the way you you know they didn't give you a, a lot of uh independence to you know channel my imagination so like i i created my own company called ugo art and just started you know creating art i've worked for a couple of companies you know i don't not to name names but um that was Ugo, like you, my Ugo, let me ask you a question i want to make sure that everybody can hear you clearly there is yeah. something playing in the background is it something yeah you can it's out? no not really i can't be able to control the sound system over here because like i'm in a store oh. so yeah i'm in a restaurant i was eating Oh, so, okay. yeah, so I, I decided to just do this because I don't have any distraction over here. But no. can you be able to hear me? Like, is it sound is I okay? It, but I want to make sure it's one hundred percent clear. You know? Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah so yeah, I, that's where I started from. But how I the, let me just skip to all the way to the part where I got into like Ebo. I've always, you know, I've always been like not not that I've always been conscious all my life, but I like one of the first the, the movie that woke me up is the movie matrix I, i watched it in nigeria when i was a kid yeah yeah i watched the matrix when i was a kid in nigeria and you know i, I first of all i was in i was in love with the martial arts the martial arts of the film but as you know as i was coming up growing up came to the us and then you know i started there was a new world that you know here was like a new world for me because and i i had to we always watch that movie so i kept kept on watching it and coupled with the fact that i'm growing mixed with life experiences and so i started to realize what the movie was about so that was my first conscious experience you know that movie and then from then on you know i i was i was an atheist when i was in high school then from high school you know I, i i got into like kemetic spirituality yeah. you know and then around 2014 i started looking into like ibo like not not ibo spirituality basically like just looking into things into kemet spirituality and like for for some reason i wasn't looking at ibo you know my i got into looking at ibu spirituality through uh the work of professor katrina chalono i don't know if you know okay. her she's yeah. she's late the late professor katrina chalono's work you know and and the way my life moved i'm basically explaining to you my spiritual journey but the way my life moved was like it wasn't my own wasn't by my own you know was by my own free will it wasn't like something i just woke up and was like okay you know what i need to start looking into this it was like the yeah. all, all it was like an abia everything like, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. like an abia that just came Same. to me in, in 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 my face and i was like okay like i need to be looking at this so but fast forward to how i i got into creating ibo art was around like in 2015 I saw two people arguing about for example if you google ancient ebo yeah google ancient ebo images you know yeah. you will see like all those photos that they took us in the 1900s yeah you know those photos like they took yeah. us yeah if you I think the ones we used to post yeah 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 if you even before that guy started posting like images the guy called uru before he yeah. started those images were already like on google some of them were already on google okay right. yeah so like 
if you look at i saw people on facebook i two two Igbo people were arguing about those images and like you know they were inferior they were feeling like they didn't like the way we look they said that we were we were dirty and like we were you know that hi i can't this is not us this is you no know, this hey and then so, so i some the other person was trying to convince the other person that this is us this is how we look and the other one was yeah. like and then like it was like i think they were attacking the other one and i was like hmm okay now around this time I, I was already like doing like some really great things in art and i was like i need to create more <laughs> i need to create more Igbo art you know like i was like something just came to me like something while i was looking at that i was just watching them arguing about that and someone just said to me you need to create art you know for your people you know so that's how i started that's how i started creating this was around 2015 this is how i started creating uh what you you know you know today as like serious google art that's basically how that started and i started creating like amadio like Idemili, and uh and and also before then there wasn't really there wasn't there was no digital art so there was like there was there nothing was no yeah. did you you will you will see like the work you will see the work of ben ben uh, and one and one but it's like it's, yes, it's yes. you know ben and i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing his last name yeah, correctly like you, know, yeah. you know him right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. he has he, yeah he, the, the guy that gave the un the the statue of anya yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 so like i i was in love with his paintings so like his work was actually what inspired me more to you know just create what we know today as serious google art and yeah, yeah so but that the, because the art that i'm creating it has so many information about our people in there but that's like a whole different subject on its own i'm like how all those informations that are in the arts came about mm -hmm. yeah you know? So, so no, man. Wow. Journey. Thank you for that. <laughs> a lot of my own is the same. It's just, yeah. I can't tell you where it started, but once I got to a certain point, I saw that all these different things that were colliding into one place were doing it. Like it was, it was it, it, for a reason, right? It was guided. Yeah. It wasn't just a bunch of random events. Yeah. It was very guided. Yeah, it's, it's, it all went into every it's single thing. That'd be, yes, it all, exactly. Yeah. It all went into every single thing I was doing, that type of thing. Um, one of the things you do that I, I, I really like is that, again, rather than writing, or even in my own case, saying it, right, you're mm -hmm. telling the story with the eye. Right. And it's interesting that you started when we were talking, saying that, like, um, for example, you see yourself as a master that you're that you look serious to mastering. Yeah. Because our masquerades are the same thing. Right? Yes. When you yes. look at a masquerade, there is so much in let's call it information just piled mm -hmm. onto that thing that if you know what you're mm -hmm. looking at, you can read an entire book just by watching one walk past. You yes. understand? And yes. so to create that in a digital format, man, hats off to you. Seriously. That's the <laughs> thank you. How, thank how you. Doing, what does that look like when you're putting things together? How do you go about doing that? Oh, okay. I, I'll, uh, one of my recent, I'll, I'll use my recent arts just to explain my process, you know, like how I came about, how, how, how I come up with majority of the, it's, it's, I, 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 I give thanks to Agu, which is, you know, which Abia travels with, basically, Abia is Agu, you yeah. know, the, the mystical knowledge and learning to recognize the mystical knowledge is what helped me a lot, okay? We all have it. Every living thing has an Abia and that comes with Agu, which is the mystical knowledge. We all have it. So you, what makes somebody a conscious being is learning how to listen, to that abia and recognizing it when it comes and like you know and no one knowing what to do with that so how I, i'm gonna i'm just gonna use uh one of my recent art is called nemo and um I saw that this morning yeah okay yes that, that was, that's not that was one of my recent arts i, I just want to i'll use that as an example to explain to you like how you know 
I come up with majority of my work is so the way it works is like I looked at my work and I was like I have so many work of I mean I've had works of like Ibudu like I have some great works of Ibudu and Obubu these deities they represent like ast ast astrologically they represent uh, the fall the fall season interesting right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, like like uh, Ibu do represent it's it's astral. Ibu. Another thing I realized about Ibu deities, they they have they are different aspects. They are different different principles that that they represent in in life in nature. Yes, yes. They manifest so, in different places as different. Okay. Yes. So 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 yeah. yeah. So there are there are astronomical versions of yeah. the deifications, and then yeah. you have like the just communication wise of the deities the, and also the natural aspect of the deities, you know, and, you know, there are different aspects of the deities. So, but the first way I always look at the deities through astrology, I always look at them astrological first because astrology is divination. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That, that's, that's his divination. So I, I, I realized that I, you know, I haven't, I haven't created a lot of work of, you know, what is that, the spirit that transits one out of this place? You know, we are always about the spirits that brings us in here. Wow. <laughs> you understand? The thoughts just <laughs> randomly came to me. Yeah. You know, I, I was just on my own. It just came like... <laughs> Like you just telling me, like it was like it was like as if it's a criticism. Like, like you have created a lot of things that bring people in here. Like these yeah. are the deities you have venerated. So many deities that bring people in here. Yeah. But what about the balance, the maat, the omatsu of it, which is the deities that take us out? Yeah. <laughs> you know. So that's how I was like, wow, okay. Us being out of here is a more now. Like to get out of here is more. You know, yeah. we we are we are in Bem Mado. Then to trans to, to transition out of here is to go to Bem Mo, right? So, <clears throat> so another thing, I I went to sleep and I was just having this dream about this lady called Nemo, and I woke up and I was like, okay. No more it is. Yeah. So uh, what I usually do, I just, I'll, just, I'll try to Google to see if is there any Igbo last name called Nemo. <laughs> like I was just looking at it because the 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 the, 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 the deities we answer the names of deification. Yes, yeah, names yeah, names exactly. deity. People are like, <laughs> people be very surprised at where I get the information, but I'll check people's name. Yeah. Like, I I do that also. I do that yeah. as part of my confirmation <laughs> strategy. Yeah, I do that. So I do that also. So the I reason why not to interrupt you because there's there's a reason why it blew my mind when you said this. This yeah. this one thing, but the recent one was is uh, people, uh Soludo. Yeah, you know, Soludo. The name Soludo. The, the Anambra. Yeah, Soludo. Yeah. yeah, Soludo. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Yeah, um, and I was like, okay, in my dialect, we wouldn't say Soludo. We'd say Soludo. Right, like, oh, right, yeah. Okay, Firu. And the reason I used that name was because I was trying to rectify the relationship between Amadioha and Udo. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, 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 I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But I'm yeah. sorry, I you. So you're no, no Nemo, you get this vision yeah. of Nemo. You yeah, yeah. Check the last names and then. Yeah, I, 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 I just I went to Google and I looked it up. I was like, Oh, we do answer Nemo. Ibu people answer names called Nemo as a last name. So yeah. I was like, okay, what would Nemo look like? I went to work, just working, and you know, he's telling me that I remembered one story that my a man in a village told me like two years ago. I, I'm, I'm like, I'm in Nigeria every year, like almost twice a year. <laughs> so like a woman was telling me a story about somebody that died Somebody that was killed by an alusi. And what happened was that how they knew that the person was killed by an alusi was that Ugoloma landed in the roof of that man's house. Okay. And people started screaming. You know, Ugoloma is like raven. Yeah. So I was like, the, the way the man said Ugoloma, I was like, okay, I, I really, what is Ugoloma in Igbo? He said raven. I was like, raven. I was like, wow. 
That's crazy. Because you know, you know what? Because if you you've seen Game of Thrones, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so like, I, I started, I started looking into Raven. Like, what, what does that, the totem, Raven? Yeah. What does it even mean in our culture? I started asking question. I made some calls back home. I started asking question, and my sources are telling me that the Raven is represents death. That it represents the spirits that that helps one transit. Wow! I was like, oh, that's gotta be part of. That's gotta be one of the totems of a number. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that is yeah. that is. If you if if we're looking at the zoomorphic form of a number, mm -hmm. it's gotta also come as a raven. Yeah. You know. So I was like. Because I was, I was when that criticism came to me about not creating, create, having so much of the deities that helps one transit out of here. I started imagining because I started okay, if, even if I was going to create it, how what are they going to look like? What will it? What would it look like? Yeah. So I realized that we actually have a very in-depth knowledge about ravens and their connection to more. You know, so it, it's not necessarily a, de a, 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 a bird that represents death or that, you know, it represents, it can also mean like that, okay, well, like, for example, when you see a raven, it can also mean that you need to move away from a specific habit that you have, mm. okay, like, you know, or, or that there is something that is, there is a specific characteristics that is going to die within yourself because even to to become enlightened your old self needs to die yes in order for you to rebirth which is even what the christians call repent that's the process of repenting is the old self dying and the renewal of the self right. so um that was that's basically how the nemo art you, if, if you see the art, you see that there are so much. You see the ravens, her head. She's wearing a raven a yeah. head, and you know. So that's how that came about. It was through this various uh, 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 things coming from just you know something that came to me that was just criticizing me about my work, and that's how that manifests. And then. For example, when I when I when I talk to uh, Ijela Ijela Menibo, which you know as in the Chukuka Dibia, the author yeah. of uh, 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 Le Leopards of the Magical Dawn, and you know I consider him to be a very very great. He's he's a great. He's one of. I, let me put it this way: after John Ume, yeah. After John Ume, you get Ijela. I think so too. Yeah. Even wager. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I haven't spoken to him in a while, but like the last time I spoke to him, and he was just telling me about my art, and he was just saying that you see the way this this thing that you're creating, this is exactly how. Omo Abara looks like this, this is how Abara looks this is how the beautifications look wow. and I was like okay because majority of my work are coming from the various Abia that came to me you know and I decided to and you know just it, the inspiration comes from so many places okay yeah. so to, to just to just create one thing and the inspiration comes from different places and I think that to for you, anyone to create Igbo art, you have to be an illuminated person. You have to be enlightened. As in, you have to be onye onye chifogolu. Let me put it that way. Onye 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 ofufuchi. Somebody that is illuminating, an illuminating being. You know, to in order for you to create what I would consider like Igbo art. You know, because our people, the 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 Though the people that created what we do, not necessarily the, the people that manifested the deities in yeah. the images yeah. and 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 uh, uh, the different ways that they created the deities, um, they they were not just regular people. 
you know they were they were people that have seen things in in the spirit realm and have seen you know they have they have they have spent so much time you know practicing equally they have seen so many because he, he, here is something that I, I don't talk about a lot a, a lot but you most of the evil artifacts they are actually a representation of the human biological system interesting yeah interesting Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. You don't want to speak too long because you need to say something no, as well. Is not, because, you're both. Go. But, but you know because yeah. yeah because um, for example, in Pekinga, what Pekinga itself, just on its own, it holds a whole different. It in Pekinga holds a whole different story of its own. Just the, just the horns. The horns, yeah. 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 And Entirely. and and that is a representation of the the hippocampus. The hippocampus. The shape. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Because now if you start looking at like the functions of the hippocampus and what it's what what it does, you know, you realize that without the hippocampus we're not going to be able to remember anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we are not going to be able that's like the, it stores our memory it stores our memories and basically everything that is coming out of our mouth is coming from our hippocampus basically. You know, just coming I'll from a, further. Consider this. You'll notice in a lot of art yeah where when something has passed away, right? Mm -hmm. If it had horns in one form it won't have formed horns in the other form, right? Right, right, right. It has left that memory, the memory, the, the living memory. Right, the consciousness of that. Yeah, already the gone. Consciousness yeah. has been left. By, but on Earth, that thing now becomes your power to yeah. operate. It's a consciousness. Yes. You understand? Yes. Yes. And you'll notice with a lot of Ikenga, it's, if you pay attention, those aren't horns being depicted. Yeah, yeah. Because some of them look very much like horns. Some yeah. of them look, it's like, okay, this thing is almost like an antenna. Right? Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, I, I see them as the hippocampus, the hippocampus in our in our, in the human brain. Okay. Because spirituality is about knowing your oneself. You know, like studying the, the work of the great Professor Catherine Achalano, you know, back in like 2016, 2015, and you know, looking into some of that lady, that lady the that lady did a lot, bro. She did so much, and and like here, I just want let me talk about her. Just a little, you know, it, she's part of the you know what yeah. I wanted wanted to say. It's just that yeah. like she has done so much, and you know because she was a woman, like uh, she, she she had a lot of pushback. Okay, she had a lot of pushback because she was she, because you know because she was a woman, but her theories you know she didn't she didn't she followed all the rules she yeah. followed all the rules that any uh, anthropology uh, linguistics or all these people that are trying to find out the truth about the ancient world she followed all the rules she didn't she didn't there was no bias about anything that she was she followed all their rules and presented her what she has you know in saying that okay this is this is Ibu. And this is where I found Ibu all over the world. Okay? So, and her, her claim is that, which is not far from the claim of various African, you know, scholars. And the fact that is that Kemet, Egypt, was bettered by Southern Africans, West Africans, and Eastern part of Africa. You know, these we we were the people that manifested everything that that was created over there, in North Africa. It, it came from us. It's not the other way around. We 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 didn't get from Kemet. No, Kemet came from us. So I'm like yes, okay. you know. So like from Kush then to Kemet, from Kush. So Kush from us then to Kemet. So. When you look at Kemetic spirituality, it's all about self-knowledge. And majority of those deitifications are talking about different aspects of the 
the human the body, how the human, yeah, human body yeah. functions, and yeah. how, and, and so if that's how that those arts that they have over there in Kemet, if that's how they they are, it, then that is also what we have down in our land. Yeah, you understand. The, look, at, look at any description of the human frontal lobe. Yeah, and then yeah. go check a description of Anyang. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that they'll say things such as Amadioha lives in the forehead of Anya and all these. Go and look at the relationship between those two things. Now, the another thing that I've even noticed in my research is brainwaves, brainwave activity. Because mm -hmm. our ancestors were very loud and clear about the fact that more is a vibration. You yes. understand? It's a vibration. Every single, if you want to call any more about anything like that, it's going to have a song or a vibration that you can use mm -hmm. to bring it into the present. You understand? Yeah. yeah. Individual, like for example, now, um, Ijile was even telling me that one of the means of di divination is to tie bells around somebody's ankles and the song it makes when they walk, that's, that's, that's their rhythm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And that thing has meaning. It's not yeah. by accident. It's not yeah, I, I get that. I get that. I get that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. Right. Yeah, Which again, yeah. you go back to the masquerades, you'll now look at their legs and you'll say, okay, mm -hmm. I see what it is. Right. Yes. That's like the thing. But look at every single description of the frontal lobe and look at every single thing you know about Anya Wotutu. Then look at mm -hmm. the fact that when our ancestors, right, when you, when you, mm -hmm. like, for example, you become an Inze or you become enlightened, where do they put mm -hmm. the Ichi marks the on the Ichi. forehead? Yes. The, yes. On the forehead. You understand? Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is there. Mm -hmm. And if you look at what they were doing in Kemet, the same system, the same algorithm. Yes, yeah, because that. it came from us. It, it came from us. We we were the ones that manifested that culture. And it, it is very important for our people to understand this because calling us Hebrews, you know, calling ourselves Hebrew is like saying that Igbo is Hebrew is like saying that you bettered your grandparents, you right. know, <laughs> because we... <laughs> You know, so when 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 they see when they see um uh, what are those people called the Jew, the Jews in Israel when they see them f flipping around chicken all over their head yeah, they yeah, say yeah. oh my God it's us we it's are us them ah oh, bro come on you know, no it's because they they took that from us they yeah. learned it from us it's yeah. not that we are those people it is that they took this from us and that's why they they're doing this this way you know because. I mean, what we what we what 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 we classify as Abrahamism uh, yeah. originated from what they, you know, classified as paganism. You know, that's that's where that originated from. You know, one of the things that's interesting too, as far as just the whole Abrahamic tradition, is like just write down a list of the trees that are mentioned in the Bible. Yeah. And go double check where those trees grow. <laughs> a, lot of, yeah. <laughs> a lot of those trees do not grow that's, in the Middle East. That's, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna that. I'm gonna take that from you, man. I'm gonna yeah. say I like that. That no, was very good. Grow in the Middle East. I think they have sycamore now in Israel, right? Yeah. But the sycamore is a very African tree. And yeah. on top of it being a very African tree, you'll now see that, like, and again, I could be wrong with I maybe to double check it, but last time I checked yeah. it, this one saw. It's showing yeah. a map of where this thing grows, and it's just like Africa, Africa, this tiny little sliver in Israel, and not mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So when you see those things, you start. Is is it? A lot of these things can't be hidden if you're willing to think, right. and if you're willing to look, and right. and really and really and really just meditate on what you're looking at, right? Like for example, now, like I I go back to these masquerades again, like you said in the beginning, and your art does remind me of that exact same tradition. You understand a lot of these masquerades will tell you very interesting stories that a lot of people may not be ready to believe yes <laughs> they will tell you they will show you a level of interconnectivity mm -hmm. that, that would blow your mind as far as and and, and 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 the reason why we have so much knowledge in, in our masquerade is because you know yes. is not an enemy yes. and even Talking about ordinary, uh, ordinary is not something like, for example, the the our people that are you know the people uh, some of our people that are looking into ordinary, 
it was like I see if they're from the outside looking in and they just yeah. want to know everything right now. Just tell me yeah. everything right now. Like just yeah. lay it all out. <laughs> It's it's not like that. It's you have to get into. It's a lifestyle, you live basically. It. You live it. It yeah, you live it. it. The thing too. The, I say this, and I don't think people understand what I'm saying when I say it. Right? Mm-hmm. All of this knowledge, because when I first came into it, I thought you had to learn these things. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Midway down the process, so far, something clicked, and I realized that these things come out of you. Mm-hmm. It's not something you seek out and put inside of you. They mm-hmm. come out of that internal light that you have. That yeah. if you, if you, if you erase the entire world, you know, and, and mm-hmm. only one person survived. If that person was awake and conscious and willing to listen to their cheat, you understand to receive from their cheat. If that person was willing to do that, they will rebuild this entire thing. Again. Because it's not that they are. This is what I believe. This is what I know. These things, there's a place that these things are coming from. And everybody in the world has access to this thing if they're willing to listen. Oftentimes people mm-hmm. will say, oh, the Chinese had this too. And these ones had these too. It's like, yeah, I know they had this too. Because they're looking at the same thing. If we are all, just as a metaphor, if we're all looking at the sky in different parts of the world, we're going to describe a pretty similar situation, right? Mm-hmm. You understand. And yeah. so one of the things that, like, for example, people say the difference between spirituality and religion or this and this and that. I'll say the diff- difference between the Igbo tradition and I guess what we call organized religion is that the Igbo tradition tells you to look inside. All It's, it's all yes. there. Yeah. This, this, yeah. You see it in a small level within yourself. So it is, so it is within you. The same way it is in the world, same way it is in the galaxy, same way it is in the universe, exactly. Yes. You understand? So that a yes. very small thing can teach you absolutely everything. And so long yes. as I'm a person who's endowed with life, that's mm. not that's everything I need, right? One of the things that I am critical about when people are like this, you know, as this interest is, you know, people are interested in learning these things and coming back to these traditions. But like the scaffolding of the thing, their thinking is still very Christian, if that makes sense. Right? Yes. So yes. All the decorations, right? Yes. But replacing African looking. Like, <laughs> this time, instead of having yes. this it's going to be an African elephant that I can do, right? So, mm-hmm. one of the things that someone can do to really combat that particular habit of like Christianizing the way you see the thing is to remember that this is an internal experience. Yes. Yes. About yes. Experience. Yeah. You, know, you yeah. do things, you live it, you understand. Mm-hmm. You break on G X amount of times, certain things will come to you knowledge wise. Sure. Uh, yeah. yeah. Type of thing. You understand. Yeah, it's some it's it's a live thing. The way I present it, of course, information. The way you present it, information as well. Yeah. But at the end of the day, take the information and live it. Then you'll see everything pan out. And yeah. you'll realize that what you and I are doing, others can do too. Yes, yes, you know, because they, they, they think that it, a lot of our people think it's complicated or that yeah, rocket yeah. science, you know, it, it is not. Odinani is very simple. It's just, it is all about, you know, you know having Obioma, you know, ob- doing, because Oma is our mother. The name of our mother is Oma. You know, we, she goes by many other names, you know, but it, she likes to be called Oma because it represents her principles, which is what Odinane is about, you know. So Odinane is not hard. Life here. No, no, it's not complicated. Yeah. I can't explain that it's not complicated, but, you know, it's hard to say that vocally. But once somebody experiences the whole thing, like, oh, it's not at all. Right. Yeah. For example, right. It's like this. The principle, chineke, yes. chineke. You understand? Yeah. That then becomes sky and earth. Yeah. I like That yeah. then becomes man and woman. Yeah. That then becomes all these different things. Mm. So that if you understand, this is my mother. This is my father. You now have this knowledge that you can take all the way into the galaxy, and knowing yes. your mother and knowing it's not complicated. No, yeah. it's not. Yeah, knowing, <laughs> and knowing your left hand and your right hand is not complicated. Yeah. But just the way your left hand and right hand work, 
so do all these different relationships all over the place, right? Yes. If yes. I want to know something, um, I'll say it in English, but it says that um, what by looking in the by looking in the home of the rat, you'll understand the home of the lizard. You understand? Mm-hmm. If yeah. You look, one thing that burrows, you'll understand. You don't need to go over there to go see it. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. are willing to accept that these patterns. I looked it up with the the hippocampus and everything like that. The patterns of creation are finite, actually, mm-hmm. but from finite principles, an infinite array of configurations are created and then that ends up being what we call creation but the standard principle just like legos lego is going to be a a a brick and then the little things that stick up it's a Mm -hmm. simple principle that is used to then create all these other things Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. you know this is this is why um there were there were so many confusions about echelria from so i try to i try to use i I try to i created a bunch of mems (laughs) <laughs> I created a bunch of memes of of of, of Korea I don't know if you've seen them, but they're, they're all over the place. So, like, what I I've do seen is, their art as far as the the day, the, the 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 four spirits go. I've yeah, seen yeah. That. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I but I oh, I also created memes showing like how it is because ordinary Korea Funko are the foundations of ordinary, and yes. so like if you can be able to see. Korea from what in nature, how how it exists even in modern time, and how right. it, how you know. So I I I, I use the, the the air force as on quote, and the 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 marines. Oh, as, really? uh, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, yeah. And, and and the thing is this thing about Korea from I noticed that in many as many parts of Igbo land, it is the 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 name the the definitions are different. That's interesting. Yeah, because I I, that, like for example now like in Benin they use the same like instead of AK they'll say like AK or something like that. No 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 no. What, what I'm trying to say is that for example in some parts of Igbo land it seems like they AK is water. Really? Yeah. So like but yeah where specifically because I don't see how that would be possible. Okay, okay, okay. For for, for example, do, do I created a bunch of memes, not not my art. I created mm-hmm. like memes of a like, Korea phone call, like just various using different things like I use like Air Force as in core, which is the air in core. Yeah. Or uh, Falcon flying. So that's yeah. in core. <laughs> okay. I use the or the fire department as a care. <laughs> So, so, and then I use I use the uh, the military the the the, the Marines as Orient, and then okay. the U.S. Army as A4. Okay. Because that's so I try to I create all the all these memes to show our people that ordinary is your everyday life, the way you live yes. your everyday life. Exactly. exactly. You know, it's just like if you're cooking, if you're cooking, okay, the water. The, the fire you have to create let's say uh, using our own neolithic methodology the, the firewoods and the light is 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 uh what it, that would be okay then you put you put you put a pot and then you put water in the in the pot and that's all you then whatever that you're cooking is out for and then <laughs> the smoke <laughs> Yes, with those four <laughs> principles, right? Yeah. Not only is everything created, but if you look at the thing we call technology, yeah. anything that simulates life yeah. will just be those four things dancing with each other. Right. Anything that exactly. Life, yeah. If you look at a car, right? Yeah. You need those four principles in order to simulate movement, right? Yes. A computer yeah. is going to need those four principles in order to simulate yes. Yes. that type of thing. Yeah. And so. Again, you understand. Anybody can easily understand fire, water, or yeah, wind. yeah, yeah. You know, because they need to know these things because yeah. they think that you know. So a lot of people think it's just market days. You know that it's just market. It we it, many of our principles were installed in the things that we do, including masquerades, the markets, and various other things. Because our ancestors in Dushi, they didn't want us to forget those, forget you know those principles, right. Right. and that's why we still remember them today and still use them and still practice them because 
these these were not some these were things that goes back thousands of years ago but we're still talking about them today and it, it is because they believe that for as long as we keep on practicing ordinary in a way that you know as a moment as you know appearing in our activities our characters and everything that we're doing then that we will not be like it will not fade away you know the culture will still remain still one of the know? things i want to see us do more is rectify the, the relationship between this knowledge and regular everyday life Right. That when we're talking about these things, we're not talking about something beyond what you're doing every single day. Right. And one of the things that often happens is if you make a comparison to something, in, like, for example, a commercial, right? Yeah. It's not that a, the, a commercial is not um, Odinani Nibu or a commercial. Mm -hmm. Right. It's that what is the Odinani, what is the Odinani of that thing going on? Exactly. You know yes, yes. What is the science of that thing happening? Right. You know, it's not about okay. This is what I believe, and this is this is how I'm going to behave, and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. It's okay. Yeah. This is the perspective my ancestors gave me in order for me to decode the world and myself. Okay, when I start seeing this particular thing happen in the commercial, okay, I know what that means. I get it. Right? Mm -hmm. When you see a, a, a European saint and they got that little light behind them, right? Yeah. You now, oh, I see what they're saying with that that image. Mm -hmm. I get what that means. you understand, and it's yeah. not. It, being able to take this perspective and see the other things around is actually, for me, where the value has come. Because I can now decode what's going on around me. And you realize that a lot of people putting things together are very aware. Yeah. Very aware yeah. The, the, the world is a lot more deliberate than people think. Yeah, so, so but our people that, our people that, are, that are trying to get into your dinner, they think that they need to abandon. Oh, like, so I should, like, abandon my, this, you know, because they feel like they're, they have this... You have this life that they're chasing and then you're yeah. trying to get them into this no yeah. that's not what you know they, they feel like oh there's this life i'm chasing why are you trying to introduce this to me yeah you know so they don't know that ordinary isn't everything yes and it can be manifested into anything at, at your workplace at home anywhere that you are in the world you know so it's not something that like you know, so I, I, I just, you know, classified as Uchenibu, having Uchenibu wherever you are. To have Uchenibu, okay, I, I, Ibu is natural. So having, having natural knowledge where, anywhere that you are, in whatever that you're doing, and also to, 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 to be straightforward in, you know, be being in, in everything that you're doing for as long as you're being truthful. Yeah. You're already holding off for right there. So like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So like, yes. so and that's all it is. And it, let me put it this way, right? Yeah. This is one of the things I've said, and it's been met with controversy. And I've told people that our ancestral wisdom is not going to like if you actually apply it, right? You can be a Christian and do the same thing. But it's yeah. not that it's it's a different thing from it. It's going to teach you how to actually be a Christian. You understand? <laughs> yeah. So that when I receive the Ten Commandments, I know, okay, yeah, well, yeah this is awful. Yeah. This is Iwala. You understand? Okay, what yeah. do our ancestors know about Iwala? Oh, okay, I understand. When I'm on this land, this is the pact that these people mm -hmm. have made with this land and the land revealing her laws to us, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. You understand? You yeah. now understand these things that you're reading and you're learning a little bit better. You understand? Yeah. Because again, it is a means of seeing a 360 of any situation you're in yeah. rather yes. than a situation itself. I, I, you know, I, I tell people or I talk to people about this because I don't want people who are becoming aware to feel that they need to pull away from the regular world. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Rather, use this to enhance your movement and you'll see yeah. what you're actually there for. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, um, Another thing is that I, I would say is that, um, you know, the 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 pushback that we get, you know, in our dynamic, it's mostly like why it is more like because I, one one of the things that I realize is that it's not 
there's there's nothing wrong with like all this other religion you know right. all this other religion that all over the world christianity islam but they were not designed for nebo in the sense that they were not designed for nebo nebo I, I, I think there are two kinds of Igbo people. There are, you have the Igbo people that are that knows Igbo. And then we have the Igbo people that are, you know, Christians and you know that practice other you know religious systems. And but the pushback that we are getting comes from all this other religion that we have adopted in our culture and. You know, like I use that gigantic Jesus statue as an example. You know, so those religions and don't they don't teach us to love ourselves and our culture and our people. Rather, they want us to abandon our culture, our our, our principles, and follow their own principles you know like some of our people see jesus as their ancestor like they that's their ancestor is jesus you know so so let me put it this way right yeah if you are if you understand Igbo, you understand Igbo well it's very difficult for you to walk into a church and somebody starts saying uh i rebuke my ancestors i rebuke and you to feel yeah 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 right yeah. so then you actually look at that bible and every single person there, before they speak, will miss their ancestors. Before they tell you who they are. I'm yeah. the son of this person who's the son of this person who's the son of this person. So, so that, and then you begin wondering, why does my own, why is this one I'm doing in this, you know, building in Oware? Why does it look this way? And the one in the book looks this way. And the one our people are doing looks this way. Now, yeah. when people reach that road, they then make the mistake of saying, oh, it's because we're evil. No. Yeah. Yeah. You are the source of a lot of what you're reading. Right. And the things that you're reading were taken from you specifically. Yes. Cut up to do a specific thing and give mm. it back. One of the like right now I'm studying the um Eku Meku, uh resistance and I know my you understand mm -hmm. um, when they're having an experience. And one of the things that's very clear about that is that there's this understated point about the only reason that people yeah, would understand is that the church and the Europeans were not working together, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. They were not, in fact, they would fight each other at all junctions. You yeah. understand? Mm -hmm. One of you, if you look at the history of slavery in Jamaica, yeah. it was the church fighting the people who were the, 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 the administration. That's how that mm -hmm. ended. You understand? Yeah. Now, yeah. But the Christian, not the Christians, but the Europeans understood by the time they came to Igbo land, they themselves were not Christians, right? The, the early 1900s, late 1800s is not a time of like great religious reverence in Europe. You understand? Mm -hmm. This is the time of like Frederick Nietzsche and like atheism and agnosticism really being the dominant form of thought. Yeah. What they understood what their version of this book was to be for 2,000 years. Yeah. Which Tie a knot on their brain and attach it to the Pope in Rome. So they took <laughs> yeah. this all this medicine, you understand, and said, okay, what if I take this <clears throat> and knock these Africans over the head with this thing? <laughs> They'll have yeah. no like that, you understand? Yeah. The situation we're in today. But if you understand what our ancestors understood, and you look back at that book, it's very it's very difficult for them to use it that way to you in that context. Because you understand this is just a book of somebody and their ancestors. I have my own ancestors. Why don't I go learn about that? And that's yeah. The yeah, the the thing about can, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Claire? I can hear you. Um okay. I'm to you too. And I'm trying to fix the lighting here, not dark while we were talking, but go ahead, man. Okay. So the the thing about Abrahamism and uh what they represent uh, versus what we represent is that um first of all the what they represent they are seeing it as real history that includes everybody else in the world so the, the, that system of abrahamism was designed in a way that you know that the, the foundation of it comes from us in terms of like the, 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 the spiritual systems, the alchemy in those books. It comes from uh, what they classified as paganism all over the world, not just from us. They collected a lot of things from different, different cultures all over the world, you know. 
but what they did with what they did with the things that they collected from us has absolutely nothing to do with us so okay. it was like it was as if they collected the things that we have they collected this culture they collected this alchemy and this spiritual system that we have and then they used it to create this new world that belittles us of course yeah you understand so in you know in a way we cannot be able to use our spiritual system to venerate them you understand okay. so we, we, we cannot use our spiritual system to 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 add more into Oh, no, no, no. I think, you know. I, okay, so I'm, I'm <laughs> going to say it now, and I think yeah. you understand what I'm saying, right? Okay. No, no. What I, I'm saying is this. What I'm yeah. saying is this, right? If you understand our body of knowledge, right? Yeah. If you understand yeah. our body of knowledge, yeah. and you walk into any religious Islam, whatever, ever, mm. you're going to understand that thing very well. You understand? Yeah, yeah. You're going to see it very well. And if you engage in that thing, mm -hmm. you're now engaging consciously. So that if somebody gives you this thing and says, I want you to use this to destroy Africa, but they don't use their mouth to say, they'll take this thing, you're going to destroy your family, you're going to accuse everybody of doing jujitsu, to you, you're going to you're just going to become a virus to your own people. You're going to yeah. burn down everything sacred there, right? Yeah. And I'm not conscious of that's what's happening, right? You give it to me, I think that I'm just there singing songs and things like that, right? Mm -hmm. um, but if you understand what our ancestors understood, right? If you understand mm -hmm. what they understood and somebody mm -hmm. gives you that thing, right? Your decision is now conscious. If you say, I want to take this in and become this virus, you did that on purpose. You understand. You did deliberately. So that's mm -hmm. what I mean. I don't mean that you'll become a better Christian in the sense that, like, um, <laughs> That is your goal. Or that's the good thing to do. I'm saying yeah. that whatever the hell you're committing to, whatever it is that you're committing to, you're going to be a lot better at that because you're conscious of what you're committing to. Now, yeah. if you're aware, if somebody says, uh, God of Abraham, God of this, God of this, then the next thing as, as an evil person, okay, who's the God of my HK and Menaha? Um, uh, right, okay. That, yeah. right? That's what I mean. yeah. And okay. if you actually do that thing, whatever you see good in that book, you'll be better aligned with. And, right. and 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 yeah, we and and, and we, we do have a lot of uh, you know evil people that are practicing or denying and going to church as well. So like you know, I I, I, the mistakes we make too is that we compare Odinani to religion when we should compare it to science. Uh, you yes, yes, but it is also um, it is also be we we can not fully classify ordinarily as science because but because science is a child of spirituality yes 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 so like yes yeah, so ordinarily is a a spiritual system of neolithic people of you know very ancient people neolithic people that you know that's why you know for example you go to you see bbc ebo they're acting of like what do Igbo people call laptop? How we don't have a word for laptop. Right. Okay. <laughs> what we don't we, we Igbo language is Neolithic. We are a Neolithic people. So Neolithic people are practiced spiritual spirituality. And from spirituality, you're going to get what you we know today as science, but uh, the thing, the 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 you know, we're speaking English, so we, if if we are to, uh, if we are to translate what I just said now in our own language, you know, we wouldn't say that all oh, our people were practicing uh, science, or that you know, we would it would be that they were like our people, like let me put it this way. What we know today as science, for example, mm -hmm. like everything about science always stops in dark, it stops at dark energy. All right. But right. ordinary goes further than dark energy can be able to, you know, define more things, you know, you can go beyond dark energy. Now, uh, I, I watched a debate that was going on somewhere people were talking about this or how we should discard spirituality and follow science science what how do we how can you be able to 
abandoned spirituality like I, like you know it, it was it was an atheist that was saying this it was more like so i was like okay so what what do you what do you do like when you find yourself in a hospital in a hospital bed the doctor doesn't know which whether you're going to live or you know like what what do you hold on to at that point like like when you are in a hospital bed yeah. you don't know what's going to happen or when things are going not going so well for you you don't know what's going to happen you know at the end of the day we are still human beings we have we have so when we start looking at the principles of our mind and soul and how you know then we can be able to understand and understand what spirituality is and what spirituality is science does not teach morality you can be the most so this is this is where this let, is let, 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 let me finish this thought let me finish this thought. science does not teach morality no. science is about just knowing you know just you know finding out what this is and its principles and how it functions and all that stuff well you can be the most disgusting human on planet earth and be a scientist and practice all kinds of <laughs> science and you know you can be you can be a, a liar a, 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 you know so that's why we cannot literally just class say oh ordinary science okay you know, let's see <laughs> let me put yeah. this way, because it's like this right you can understand a little bit about my father, right? By getting to know me, if that makes mm -hmm. sense, right? Mm -hmm. But if we're talking about my neighbor over here, right? Yeah. Who's probably outside smoking their cigarette. You're not going to understand either of us from that person, right? So I don't mm -hmm. disagree that science is the child of spirituality, if yeah. that makes sense. Yes. What science is doing is, you know, when you're young, there's a the stage when you're young and you think you know more than everybody, especially people who are older than you, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. so you start barreling into the world and you start making all these mistakes and you're thinking that you're just making these conscious choices by yourself. And it's being, yeah. you're, you know, and then after some time, as you mature in age, you begin to realize why your father said, oh, okay, watch out when you drink like that. Oh, we have alcoholism <laughs> in our family. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. You understand why your father said, don't touch that. Don't go over there. Don't talk to that type of person. I don't know how that girl, uh, I don't know about that girl, right? When mm -hmm. you're young, you know, sometimes when your parents will tell you something, you even want to push against, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that they're more, Odinani is more comparable to sciences because the both of them are of the mm -hmm. same thing. They are both observations of reality. Right? Yes. But so just because we are yeah. neolithic, I don't disagree yeah. with you on the neolithicness. Because of our age, we have gone, the journey that science, is, what we call science now, is going through, we've already been there. Right? Yes. We've already been in puberty. We're old men. We're, yeah. We've already been there. And there's yeah. a reason why there is now this moral component. There's a reason why there's all these other components that kind of look like religion, but they're not. Because the main thing about religion is not necessarily the morality, it's the conformity of behavior. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Whereas if you look at the world from a scientific, like from a scientific standpoint, mm -hmm. the morality no longer becomes a matter of belief. It becomes a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. If you do this, that will happen. No, it won't. I don't believe that. Okay, go do it. Jump. Jump off this cliff and see what happens. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Then tell me where your belief takes you. Right? Yeah. I think one of the mistakes we'll make, especially as people are coming back into tra tradition, is to think that we're talking about belief. You understand? Yes. If you go, yeah. like, let me put it this way: if you go to, if you go to, let's say a Divya, right? Mm -hmm. a Divya who specializes in preparing medicine, and this person says, "I can get rid of your tumor," and they do it. They do what they do, and they can't get rid of your tumor. You don't go to that person again. Yes. It's a scientific decision. But if you go yeah. to your pastor and say, pray for me, I want to get this job, and you don't get that job, you're going back to that pastor next Sunday. You understand? Yeah. And this is why I'm saying that when we start making those comparisons, we start importing a lot of the viruses that religion has. Yeah, I, 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 yeah I, I think that 
Yeah, I, I, I totally understand what you are saying, but uh, when we say that ordinary is about spirituality, it actually it, it, it doesn't have anything to do with religion. Religion is very new. Religion is new in terms of, yeah. you know, but your spirituality, you know, it, 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 we can just take it back to how, how, however we explain Ogaka. Okay. The way we explain Ogaka is like, you know, we are talking about human communication with God so that, you know, everything was in a whole or that, you know, what religion does is religion does not give you you know, I, I don't want to break down a lot of things over here because it's going to take all, all our time. So I, 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 I would say that, let, let me just, you know, a lot of things I'm saying, I'm just cutting them short, short, short. I just, because I'm trying not to take all of our time. So um, uh, spirituality is about self-knowledge and knowing how to live a proper life that does not, you know, you know, for example, it, it putting ourselves from where we came from and where our culture came from and like the people that created this culture that we call Odinan. These people were forest people. They were forest people. They were Ndibu. Imenganga, Imorphia, Ipa. They were forest people, okay? We, we, we look at that as, you know, a modern person will look at it like, oh, bush people or whatever, like, because they lack self-knowledge. But when you understand that, 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 that forest or whatever is why we lived over there and why, you know, we still live over there is because of the culture that we have. The spirituality, the spiritual systems that we have, and it is about okay. For example, science teaches us about learning and observing, while spirituality is teaching us about being. Okay, I, I don't know Do if that think, makes any sense. I I, I like yeah. I like what you're saying, and it makes sense. I, I yeah. respect it a lot. Well, let me put it this way, right? It's interesting because science will say, oh, uh, if you burn oil, you can use it to create a combustion engine. And this combustion yeah. engine will take you here and take you there and take you there, right? That kind yeah. of thing. And our ancestors will say, when you pull something out of the earth, right? There's, first of all, first and foremost, there are certain things you do not pull out of the earth. There are certain trees. Don't cut that tree. Yeah. You see, and that, 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 that's what makes it spirit, spiritual. Well, this, I'm getting there. I'm getting yeah, there. Yeah. So then you this tree down. Do not remove this particular crag or stone. Do not do to, if you dig before you dig into the earth, ask her her permission, give yeah. her a respect, and then do it, right? Mm -hmm. Then science goes, oh, there's this oil in here. We use it. We'll go here and go fast and do it. And you keep drilling and drilling and drilling. And then you know what happens next? The earth rips wide open. Oh, we have erosion problems. We have erosion problems. That kind of thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like, and then science goes, oh, oops. Well, what's that about? Da -da 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 -da. And in the end, science, right? Mm -hmm. Well, science can't do this, but the government now has to come in or somebody has to now come in and say, from now on, we're not going to do this. From now on, we're not going to do that. We're going to do that. And then over time, it becomes a way of life, right? It becomes yeah. a way of life. So this is what our ancestors did. Yeah. These things are not beliefs, right? Yes. People can say, I don't believe in this African thing. I don't believe in this event. But and there's nobody who says they don't believe in it who is willing to play around with it. Mm. Right? They, yeah. they, they fear that thing because they know that whether you want to or not, you know that you know there's something that you understand. Yeah. Yes. Where science is going, right? If you give science, let's call it how long have we been at this? Let's say 8,000 years. If you give mm. more, but let's give up 8,000 years. I strongly believe they'll be at the exact same place that we're at now in spirituality. Yeah. I, and, and, yeah. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Finish your thoughts. Finish your thoughts. It's just it's was... a lived experience with science. You, 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 you encounter the earth, right? Mm -hmm. You encounter the earth. You 
establish a relationship with that earth. You understand. Mm -hmm. You get to know who she is, mm -hmm. what works, what doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And over time, you now have a system of behavior that's based off of observed reality. It's mm -hmm. not about, don't do this because I don't need that thing. Science mm -hmm. now, because science is young, right? Science is young. So science yes. is that consciousness where it's yeah. like, yes, you can do this, but mm -hmm. what does that mean? The meaning. What is the meaning? What does it matter if it means? Just do it. Just do it. That kind of thing. That's where science is at, right? Yeah. Once that wisdom comes, you'll now see a difference. There's a thing they're doing now in the U.S. and it's very funny, but according to science, right, mm -hmm. it's best for women to carry a child on their back. According to science. That yeah. if you put a child on your back, <laughs> typically, yeah. scientifically, it mimics the activity and the state, the state of being in the womb, because they're still attached to the body, and this calms the child and allows you to have work-life balance. All these bullshit terms, white people are throwing where a woman can live her entire life and and have a child at the same time, right? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So you look at this thing and say this is the African thing, this is the Western thing, but it's no. There's just truth. Yes. You understand? Yes, of course, and also the reason why I didn't want to. You know, just classify or deny it as science is because you know it's just like how Igbo is and how the deifications are. Like the word ordinary is just like ordinary. The word ordinary is not a deity, but it, the word is just like how a deity can be. How our ancestors, you know, you know, observed what it is. Yeah, 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 yes. So, so the it, it's like they are. You can't just classify that as just say, okay, this is just what it is. I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying. Yeah, no, no, I, I get what you're, I, I get what you're saying. No, I understand. Good. I understand what you're saying, bro. So it, it's, it's that the thing that science often do because when we keep, when we mention the word science, or just say all the nine science, then you just, and of course, anybody that knows, like you know, we just know that oh, it's not a Western thing; that it is just truth you know what what we can say is that there is an aspect of ordinary that science adopted you know like sure. you know uses like we can just say yeah like you know this this is what science took this um, I mean, sci there are people that took this from ordinary and then called it science. This, this, this principle of this way of looking at things and just say, okay, we can now do this thing that is called science. Yeah. And then we can now do this, this, this practice that is called science, which is also very helpful, which, you know, just like, you know, it, that's how I just, I think that's how science came, came about. And I think that's how, how we should put it. I think that we should put it that what we call science derives from ordinary derives out of a bigger you know, yes. uh, 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 program called ordinary mm -hmm. and you know that's the way that's the way i see that's the way i see science you know even religion comes from ordinary all these things come from ordinary politics yeah, we're saying something too different right i think that yeah. you know and it, you know the word i understand what you're saying because yeah. the west has made the word science into a specific thing. And that specific thing is limited, right? And we're, we're speaking their language, too. And we're speaking their language, so we're stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? so, but when I, say, when I say this, I'm saying this. When I say this, I'm saying this, right? That if you commit yourself to truth, and if you yeah. commit yourself to deciphering reality, mm -hmm. you will arrive at where our ancestors arrived. But our yes. ancestors were already there. You'll meet them there. Yeah. There's a interesting thing that a good friend of mine pointed out. And I'm going to go back to this. There's something about said about Nem 1. I'm going to point it out because it's the same yeah. friend. We were talking about the practice of burying the placenta with a seed. Do you understand? Yeah. Now, remember this, right? A placenta, if you let's use the science terms, right? Mm -hmm. A placenta yeah. is rich with stem cells. You understand, mm -hmm. and it's also rich with your own organic matter, your DNA, so on and so forth. So mm -hmm. that anything that absorbs that thing, you're almost grafting yourself again. You understand, mm 
So imagine I'm taking, you're taking my DNA, a seed is taking my DNA, and it's in the ground, and it's, uh, there's, the vi viruses live on the earth, bacteria mm -hmm. live on earth, and what plants do is that they'll take from the earth exactly what it needs to fight the virus that, okay, this virus is coming, take more iron, virus is stopped, this virus is coming, okay, take more zinc, this virus is stopped, mm -hmm. and it grows and it grows and it grows, and then all of a sudden, you have what we can call in English a tree of life. Well, when you need medicine, mm -hmm. you can go to that tree and its leaves are best suited for healing you specifically because mm -hmm. it's actually you that you just grafted, right? Yep. Now, listen to the terms I'm using, graft, DNA, blah, all these things, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't want anybody to make the mistake of thinking that these things are their thing. Mm -hmm. And this one is uh, our it, thing. They're, they're all our thing. You yes. understand? And yes. this thing that Colin Science is like the arrogant child of the thing yeah. that it's coming from. And religion, re religion is that way too, bro. Religion, religion is, is also an arrogant child of... of yes, of, 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 Yeah. And, and the funny thing about religion is that it's in societies where religion exists, that science in the form that we're talking about it has to exist. And that's why the two of them are not balanced. Yeah. Because religion is like almost like when something dies and it falls, it 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 petrifies. It mm. doesn't you let you let you be honest. You understand? Mm. It's just it's like a part of it. And yeah. science, the way it's understood, is almost like you took all the liquid out of the corpse, but it itself has no principled form. You understand? Mm -hmm. so that, oh, did you need it to create a nuclear bomb, right? But yeah. there's no proof that you say you don't need a nuclear bomb. Like, yes. Yes. Both of those are there. You understand? Mm -hmm. Both of those are there. So that when I enter a land, that land has its laws. Not the laws of people where they can mm -hmm. live in the because yeah. this is what the land gave me. I can actually derive law from this land. I can follow the laws of this land that I'm going to use for me. Right? Yeah. And then use the same principle to now look at myself. What about my own authority? My own law is my own. Okay. What, what are the principles of those? That, it's the same thing. So it's yeah. always, our tradition gave birth to like twins, right? But they're like, yeah. <laughs> like somehow, <laughs> you know, like they just got a couple things. Yeah, and and, and 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 like uh, yeah, this is that's why I said that. That's why I said that. Odinani, you know, that's the name of our culture and, and our yeah. spiritual system. That's why I say it, it's the child of of uh, science. You know, we the do. Parents, you mean the parents of science? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's the parents. Sorry. I don't think we're saying anything different. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I understand you perfectly now. It, you know, it's just that one other thing I realized, you know, is that a lot of us that are waking up and realize it's like even it's like I see sometimes, sometimes it's like I see we're trying to conform our culture to suit whatever that is going on in the world you huh? get what i'm saying like it was we're trying to get it to instead of you know developing our own things like we're trying to get our this our thing yeah let's get it to fit whatever this this is whatever it's going on right now instead of understanding that this principle on its own and if it needs upgrade, it doesn't need to level up with something else that is already I going on. I completely agree. I, <laughs> you understand? Too. Yeah, one of the things I came to run into, right? Because, yeah. like, I, you understand, I came in in a very specific way. And coming in, there were things I disagreed with, right? Like, for example, like blood sacrifice. I, it just didn't sit well with me. <laughs> it's from the things that I disagreed with that I ended up gaining and learning the most from and growing the mo most from understanding mm -hmm. other stuff. Not trying to, oh, because I get messages all the time, people say like, oh, we need to like modernize or deny Yes. It's funny because when you, if you look at 
the modern creations of human beings, the things we create, they are significantly inferior to the things that have been that that time, the Neolithic things that have been here. Mm-hmm. So, for example, now look at um, um, Ajofia Newi. You understand? You look at Ajofia Newi. Look at that thing. You can learn so much just by looking at it, but then you can listen to it and learn more. Compare that to the modern mastery to be like a clown dancing on the side of the street. <laughs> 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 mind it's like we're talking about with science and religion where they're like these like they're supposed to like somehow they're supposed to do this but they can't because the people who put them together didn't know what they didn't understand the whole thing right yeah the, the, my, i always say this that people's mind right now are is too compartmentalized it's mm-hmm. too compartmentalized so that well, they're not in evil, i can from medicine from a leaf i can learn morality right mm-hmm. from a leaf i can derive medicine Mm-hmm. From the same leaf, I can I can understand myself, right? We don't think like that anymore. Things are boxed in these tiny little boxes, and everything is so compartmentalized that we can't create at that level. We just um, um, maybe one day it'll happen, but we can't create at that level. So rather than us having this idea that we need to conform it and change it, make it look like this, this thing has more to teach you than you have to teach. Yes, talk, talk. Yeah, to add to what you're saying right now. It, therefore, we should be looking at it as the source of knowledge. Exactly. Exactly. You know, like I don't go into a stream thinking about how much uh, 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 urine and spit I can put in. Yeah. There. No. Get your drink and go. Exactly. Look at it, it has, as the source of knowledge. More, yeah. It has more to give you than you have to give it. Like, right. Oh, that are trying to look this way. It's like, yeah, it may be, but why don't you ask yourself why it looks like that? Because maybe there's something there. Yes. And then you look, you're like, oh, oh, okay, my bad. I see. Yeah. I and, and, like, we 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 are trying to use artificial intelligence mm-hmm. to upgrade something that is in a perfect balance with nature. Right. right. You know, like, somebody, and, yeah. Somebody asked me, oh, what. There should be uh, an Odinani Bible. When I say, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> like one day, one day, please, you are your Bible. <laughs> oh my God! I, I've are, never heard that one. Was that cracked me up so bad? You are your like you are your Bible, yeah. right? So whatever the hell I write down on a piece of paper, that's me. You understand? Yeah. You call it whatever all, but it's me. You're getting yeah. me. It's my spirit. You understand? Mm-hmm. You are your Bible. Learn to speak and read yourself. Read yourself. They are mm-hmm. what you need. You understand? Yeah. I'm yeah. so glad. The conversation has been so good that I lost track of time. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I enjoyed the conversation. I hope I'm not holding you hostage, man. Go ahead. No, no, no. No, I, I, I wanted to just point out a few of these things that, you know, like... We should be looking at ordinary as the source of knowledge and where we should, you know, for example, in whatever I'm doing, I always try to apply my nickname for ordinary is Uchenibu. Yes. So in whatever that I'm doing, I try to apply Uchenibu in it. So in order not to, because I see from studying looking deep on what is what is Igbo what is that like what exactly does this word mean and like where and like are people like what why are we this like you know looking into all that you know the what I found out was that we are actually like the referee of the act like we are very we are very blessed it's like and I'm I'm speaking from a spiritual perspective. And when an evil man or woman start behaving like a Christ of the earth, as in like using the characteristics of a, a figure known as Jesus, yeah. okay, being yeah. like a, a referee. Like let me use the word referee. Referee's referee, people. yeah, referee is like when you two people are playing ball. You get a, this person is like. There's a foul, yeah. and the referee calls it. So that's like how evil. That's how evil is. 
And when an Igbo man or woman, when you start to see yourself living well, living a proper life, living by the truth and holding on for, which is your truth, when you start to live a life like of as, as, as the mediator of the earth, you will find out that things will start working out in your life. For some reason, I, 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 this is not just a, my own personal experience. I have seen other people. I've seen this, seen this from other people. And is, like, yeah, we, we have, we, 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 we have these people known as Igbo. They, a lot of us have, we've lost this principle of Igbo. Because Igbo itself is a spirit being. It's a, it's a God. It's a deity. Igbo is the name of a deity. Okay, so we have lost the principle, the principles of this deity called Igbo, which is the same way like the Igbo is just like the same way the forest is. Like when we start thinking about what the forest represents, it's like it is an Ahobunaga, an Arobunaga, an Obunaga. Without it, the sun will burn this place to the ground. We, we will not be able to. It, this place will be like a desert and it will not be able to last long. You know, like I'm talking about dry land. Let's you know. not to interrupt you, but yeah. when growing up at home, we didn't have sandstorms. I, mean, I, was in, I, was, I was there like early 90s, mid 90s, yeah. kind of. We didn't have sandstorms, you understand? Yeah. But now people have been cutting down these specific trees. That mm -hmm. people, your ancestors said, do not cut this forest, mm -hmm. do not live yeah. with it. But all of a sudden, now every dry season, we get sandstorms just like we're in the desert. You understand? Yeah. Well, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Just yeah. So, so that, that, that's exactly like my, my point about, you know, how Ordinana is. And yeah. it's, it's about having a tremendous understanding, an understanding of nature and working with nature and having an Omana. And living the life, living your life in the ways of Oma. Because there's a lot of things that is going on in our land today. We are responsible for majority of the things that is going on down there. And it, is because, of, and yeah. it, is, be yeah, it, it is because of how much we have, you know, it's like Anna is angry at us right now. Oh, why would you, you know? Mean? Like it, you know, it, 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 you know it's <laughs> right. it, you know it, yeah. we we don't understand. We are lacking so much, and we just want to modern uh, uh, like even we still have these people that we know as scientists and all these people. They're still going back to like Kemet to study things. There's, there's many of yeah. them live over yeah. there. These are things that was created like in Ogachi. These things were created in Ogachi. They're still going back to that place to, to figure this out. So they don't even. So we 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 need to we need to realize only 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 anybody that is an evil person that is trying to you know find your way back to your culture. We need to first of all realize what evil is. We need to know. You need to look into that word. What is it? Because like when we were kids, like we would hear people say things like, like when when two people are fighting, we heard them say, Ebu, 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 Ebu. That's that's another like dialectical way of saying Ebu. E -e Ebu. Ebu. Ebu is like it's peace. Yes, like that's what Ebu is. It's Ebu, like you know, calmness, and which is also what Ahobunaga represents, because Igbo is Ahobunaga, and like we need to realize what we are instead of we need to realize what we are as Igbo people, and then we need to realize what our responsibility is, because when we say that all these things that we, all these things that the world they are using comes from us, and then we're seeing how they're using it to destroy the world. Yeah. And we're just folding our hands like this, just watching them destroy the world with all the things that we say come from us. So it's our responsibility to, you know, 
it's not it's not that we are here to save the world and be the hero of the world no it's well, yeah, there's a there's a role and an obligation exactly our it, own it, chi has a specific purpose yeah, to be and, no, yeah no. And, and also for us to be safe in you know, also for you know, us to be safe in throughout you know I'm a history person obviously right yeah human history you look all over the world and there's something very unique about Igbo land, right? And I always look at this because people try to form all these systems that create more problems and then they create another system that creates yes. a kind of thing, right? And I look at Igbo land and you have this situation where there's this dense population of people, very dense population, like mm -hmm. abnormally dense population of women, mm -hmm. right? But every man, woman, and child has land. <laughs> yeah. You understand? Yes. Every man, woman, and child has land. Yeah. And be it the communists, they, they oh, this is how we're going to do it. Uh, no, that didn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, capitalists, oh, this is how we're going to do it. That didn't work. Mm -hmm. Everybody has been trying to achieve the situation where there's not, where I have the market on this day, you have the market on that day, so that no, every, this current, this life mm -hmm. force, flows mm -hmm. through all of the communities and wealth was in Emory in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And the Bronx looks the way it looks in the country. Mm -hmm. And you look at these things, and a lot of these balancing, because I'm, I'm, I'm listening to what you're saying, it makes a lot of sense, but a lot of these balancing principles of the world, right? Mm -hmm. This is how we achieve existence with Earth in a balanced way, existence with the water in a balanced way, mm -hmm. existence yeah. with each other and yourself in a balanced way, with your mm -hmm. These principles, because again, they're kind of extracted from that, that West Coast, right? Where it takes mm -hmm. you, I'm trying to kill people, and then they go to you, and maybe you need to hire to kill them. Oh, there's five people, they take the power of the kids, you understand, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. they don't, you can use this to prepare for them to eat a very few things. So yeah. I do believe you have an obligation to eat every day. Those are all there. I don't, it's hard to say people just because people are going to think ethnic. And it's like, no, yes. way of life, way of life. Yes. Mental, you understand? People are just going to think that uh, the average people person who bump into you is going to no, that's not what it is. Mm. It would be wonderful if that average person came into their awareness. But the way I see it, it's a level of consciousness to me. Yeah. It's a level of consciousness before anything else. And those who are gaining or moving towards that, if you're in on if you're moving towards something, you are that thing. So if you're moving towards that consciousness, there's an obligation to to be like you said, like a referee. Yes. Balance. Yes. That that is that is what we are. That is that is what Igbo expects of his children. You know, that's that's what Igbo expects of us. We are supposed to be the referee of the edge. And that is also the way that we can be for, for example you know, not, not, not to get any, not to get p p political, but if you look at Peter B. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> look, man, if Peter B doesn't win, take this from me, and this is on record, if he doesn't yeah. become the president of Nigeria, yeah. there will be anarchy. Of, there's already anarchy over there, okay? There's already, the, 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 the place is already, the place is already unsafe, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, we, we, so, 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 like, this guy just popped out of nowhere. Yeah. You gotta. You have to look at things from a spiritual level for you to really, really understand what is going on. Yeah. You understand? So, like, look, we we are in a we are in uh, a country that is it's unsafe. People are getting kidnapped. I mean, like, every, there's all kinds of things happening. And just imagine if Peter B was not out. So what we have is these two other guys. Basically going at it because they're the usual. They're the usual. They're they are the yeah. usual. So this guy named Peter, we had to come out. That that it's, it's just like a it's just like a representation of evil. That's what he represents, sort of. You know, even though that you know he's he's a Christian and all that stuff, but the the spirits that dwells inside of him is the spirit of evil. That is the spirit of like, hey, this is messed up. We need to fix this. <laughs> you understand? That is the that is how evil is. 
Sure. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I have, I have studied, I have looked into what evil is. Okay. Evil specifically, the, the evil, the character known as evil, what it is, because we think, we, we think we are not the only people called evil. You go all over your land, you see many places called evil. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, when I'm yeah. talking about evil, I'm talking about a, a deity they call Obatala. Okay, yeah. that evil is his his other name is Obaibo. That's what they call him. They call him Obaibo. Okay? So, this deity, that's also the deity we call Ibo. In Ibo land. That is our, the father of this nation called Ibo. Ibo, deep, yeah. Yeah, so, this deity, it, it represents order. That is, that is what it represents. It represents order. Ofonogu. Yeah, and, you know, Ofonogu. And it's like, if you look at what is going on in Nigeria right now, you see that that is there was this. It's this is common sense. There's no other person that represents this. Like as in like. So, in, 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 I hesitate. No, no. Dip my feet in Nigerian politics as far as. No, no, no. no. We're, we're, we're not going into it. I'm just trying. We're not going into. I'm just trying to make yeah. a point about yeah. something with this what evil people are supposed to be okay you're saying that he represents what yeah are, yeah on that yeah scale. yeah yeah and and it's not about okomoko like we, we have been consumed by like ego and like materialism and like so many things that we have adopted that we've actually lost our ways in on who we are the reason why this person called people for example is being followed where everybody's supporting from the north, east, west, everywhere, he's getting so much so, is because of the fuck that he's holding and it yes. is called it is the truth, and which is what yes. many of our people are liking today. Yes. Yes. You know it's interesting too because the truth, that thing called truth, right? And this is what I'm saying that if if anybody who is looking at the world, if you look at the events mm -hmm. of the world, if you look at human beings, you try to understand yourself, mm -hmm. you're going to arrive at a certain point. And the yeah. point you're on is what we're talking about, right? Yeah. This thing called truth is very interesting because yeah. over the past few years, if you look at the Nigerian situation, the person who ends up, because there's this like, it's almost like this giant cloud over Nigeria. Like mm -hmm. if you, you want to talk about the political situation, it's like almost mm -hmm. overwhelming, right? Mm -hmm. But for some reason, the person who ends up, end up cutting through that thing is the person who other people see truth in that person's spirit. Mm -hmm. You can use any word to describe what I'm describing. Mm -hmm. It's always the same thing. It's always whoever is telling us the truth, suddenly this person ends up becoming this whole different phenomenon, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And you can't defeat that thing called truth. Yes. You can't defeat it. You can't yes. you can't you can't hide it. If you, you could temporarily cloud it, mm -hmm. but you can't hide it forever. So one particle of truth ends up being greater than that giant, let's call it who knows what, like all of the mess, you understand, yeah, yeah. right? It ends up being just this little tiny thing of truth because that thing, that spirit, it resonates, right? Mm -hmm. it's a vibration, yeah. And it spreads and it spreads and it spreads, right? But, you know, the thing is, of course, a funny thing because it's not that it belongs to you, right? Yes. It's that this is what we brought you to be. This is what we brought you to do. If you do, you will succeed. It doesn't matter how you began. It doesn't matter the circumstance. Just mm -hmm. follow the principles. But when you step out of that thing, which is why I don't get into the politics, because people mm -hmm. can step out. Once no, you step yeah. out, of the thing, that same old thing will destroy you. Yeah, you I, 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 I don't, I don't get into politics as well. But you know, we, we have to look at what is going on around us. Oh, for sure. And, for sure. and also, politics is a huge part of. You know what is happening around us. Politics plays a huge role in our lives, and you know, looking at what is going on in Nigeria now, and I, I see that they have a chance to to to, to create a renaissance, like a re a rebirth of you know of that place. Because if if, if they miss this opportunity, you know, we are going to the country will be thrown into a, I don't know, but I, I don't, I don't see any future if 
they don't get it right this time. I, I don't see any future in Nigeria. Because, I think a lot of people are saying that too, and I yeah. do agree. I agree. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's, 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 vi it's vivid. It's very vivid, bro. It's very vivid, yeah. So it's the reason I'm laughing too is because there's a way all these things accumulate. My dad was telling me that there is this bill that was recently passed in Nigeria, right? Yeah. And it's the reason the recent Oshun election went in the direction that it went. Mm -hmm. And it's that votes are now counted digitally and they're announced. It be, it's like on a public uh, thing. So everybody can see, okay, if I put in a vote, it'll count as one. I yeah. can't come out and say it because all the news people can now tap in and count the votes in real time. Right, yeah. but it's interesting that that's happening. Then you have the security situation in every single region, right? Every single mm -hmm. region is going on. All of these things just coming together at the exact same time. Even with the failure of Buhari, I don't think Buhari yeah. was a failure because that's what he was brought here to do. You mm -hmm. understand? Yeah, if, yeah, 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 yeah. If somebody decides me to come destroy something and I destroy it, it's not a failure. Yeah, you know that that, yeah. that was his job. That, that was his job. job. Yeah, he did his so, job. But him doing, him being who he was and uh, Ruga and all that stuff, all of a sudden it's all coming together at this single point. Yeah. So that the way it ends up panning out in the end, when we look back, we'll say, oh, okay, it yeah. wasn't, this wasn't just us choosing these things. Mm. These things chose themselves. Or the yeah. they made this thing. Right? Yeah. So but, yeah, we, we we should try and we should try and round up because <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, these interesting topics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. but I I, I, wanted, I wanted to use that to divert. I wanted to I use I I use Peter bit because I'm trying to use him to divert into you know what our culture should be, what we should be looking at, how we should be, and so, how, what what we should what we should. Uh, we as evil people should be looking into, you know, so because I'm, yeah, I'm not that, going to go ahead. I'm not going to include the OB part um, okay. in the interview, which is fine. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Um, I will, but I'll include everything before when yeah. you're, saying, you're speaking on who we should be, right? Yeah, yeah. So, 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 example. Okay. And the reason I don't want to do that is because it, you have to be very careful putting yeah. faith into no it, it's 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 not it's not necessarily faith you know because it's just faith is something that you are not being able to see and you just believe in i don't yes. believe i don't believe in people i don't i don't know him I, I don't even believe in politics or anything like that but i'm just speaking on i'm just i was using him as an example to make a point yeah. about evil, evil people so if you look at him as an example, he's a popular figure that we have right now, the most popular figure that we have right now. So if you look at him, you would notice that his life is like not based on like bragging or like just the, right, the, right. the typical things that you will find in a regular Igbo man, <laughs> like just that you see out there, like and what we're chasing. And the reason why we're the, some of our people are struggling so much is because we're trying to meet up with this specific lifestyle that this has idea. been popularized for us. I don't know if let you're me, getting what I'm saying. There's, there's an interesting thing. Too, yeah. Right? If we speak about Udo, Amadio, Igwe, any name you give this specific force, right? Yeah. You talk about that thing. Every single culture is going to have their version of that thing. You understand? Yeah. yeah. And it's not them who choose what that thing is, right? It yeah. chooses itself. And sometimes people can deceive themselves into putting another person in that throne. Yeah. Right? And I think that the evil man we have put, it, because it ends up being the archetypical man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. And yeah. I think, unfortunately, the archetypical man that we have created is not even mm -hmm. of our future. It's actually, it's Obasanjo, to tell you the truth. <laughs> it's not, yeah. it's the truth. Yeah. Not yeah. That way did not behave like these politicians yeah. true yeah yeah so people do not behave like these politicians true mm -hmm. or false yeah people will be anybody that we as the people have said this is gonna this person gonna represent us has yeah. not behaved like these people but then you see the people who are aspiring to be big having this very specific kind of robot and joe era behavior yeah. yeah so it's we 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 have we have we have deceived ourselves into seeing obasanjo as our amadio if that makes sense yeah 
And if we can return to our original Igbo conception or understanding, mm-hmm. not conception, understanding of this, because mm-hmm. like I said earlier, you know, a person can say, you have your chi, I have my chi, but a person can say, your chi is in this box. Follow me. Yeah. You understand? Same thing. That is your Amadio. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is what, and then you see the men in the place will now start answering a specific way. Yeah. Right. But let's, uh, we do have to wrap up, man. This has been a really yeah. good conversation. <laughs> Um, I'm sure we can, if we wanted to, we can do this for hours. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely. But you, know, yeah, you and I need to talk a lot more, man. So yeah, um, definitely. Let, let me know where can we uh, find your work? Um, like I don't know, my work is everywhere, man. I, it's just like, um, like I have a Facebook account. Like uh, my, my Facebook name is uh, Uga Benaja, just Uga Benaja on its own. Okay. I'll type it on the thing, yeah. You right. know, it's, uh, I'm on Instagram as Sirius Ugo, and then I have a YouTube channel uh, called Uga Benaja, and then also Sirius Ugo Art on YouTube. It's not really hard to find me. Like on social media, if you just type in my name or the name you of my art. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, if it's not number one, it will be middle yes. number one. So yeah, so, yeah. Uh, not necessarily looking. You know, it's it's like I, the, you know, the, the point I was trying to make is that we as Igbo people should look into the principles of Igbo. Igbo people should look into the principles of Igbo. Okay, the the God man called Ibu because it's going to teach us a lot about who we are as a people and what we need to be doing in order to succeed and in order to make our world a better place. So it's not necessarily making other people's life better, but making so because if you're making your world better, you're making everything else, everything else around you, and everything that comes around you, and all the all the other people will also in you know learn. So. We need to we need to look into more of our spiritual systems and, and, and the principles of our deities. And because the deities they talk to us, which is also one of the reasons why I created an Oracle Oracle deck. Excuse me. And the Oracle deck my Oracle, my, my Oracle deck is called Igbo African uh, Oracle Cards. And it is about each of the cards are saying something that the, a deity would say. That specific deed, what that de- based on based on the name of that deed. Okay, so that's why I created the Oracle deck in order for us to learn more about our spiritual system. We are the only people that don't look into our deitifications. Like uh, Yoruba people, Yoruba people have done a tremendous job in their culture and their spiritual systems. The, the, the people have. The, their culture and the spiritual system people follow the principles of the deities so like we look at we, we look at our deities and we don't understand that they hold so much knowledge that could help us in our everyday life and mm-hmm. and help us figure a lot of things out so these are the things that we should be looking into and you know um we need to go back into our culture and our people need to uh, realize that ordinary is not complicated and it's not something that you know you have to you just need to live an upright life and you know know and and knowing yourself and 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 knowing the methodology of your people that's really what you know ordinary is all about you know and and just the basic aspects of ordinary you know just Knowing the the, 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 the the principles of Ibu and the principles of all Manachi, that's going to be able to help an Ibu person to understand and realize that yeah, being Ibu and, and, and practicing Odinana is not something that it's, it's it's not something that oh like why do I have to go back into this now? Like oh it's, and Odinani's Odinani can fit into any generation. Uh, Fifty thousand years from now, yeah. Odinani will still be relevant. Yeah. You know, and, and it, it is because it, of how how simple it is. You know, because even the world, the, the world, everything that they're creating all, all over the world is about 
how to make things something to become more simple. That is that's what technology is. So even technology is in our denial. You know, so that's how we should be looking at it. We should look at ordinary as the source of knowledge, the source of our the source of knowledge or where to go to gain knowledge about spirituality, religion, science, technology, medicine, you know, ordinary is basically agu. Okay, yeah. it's it's, yeah. it's basically yeah. just agu, what agu yeah. is. So and that's how we should see it. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you see as the future for Odinani? So, the future of Odinani, what do I see as the future of Odinani? If, if we maintain, if we maintain all these things that we said, they, 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 I mean, where we are heading to, basically now we're, we're, we're in Ogawa, some people say we're in Ogazi, but, you know, we're in Ogawa and, um, Technology is going to take over everything. You know, technology is going to be more tech. And technology is about making things much more easier, okay? Making life much easier. There's going to be a lot of, uh, uh, um, you know, I think that in, in, in the next 30 years from now, like robots are going to be taking more, robots are already taking jobs, but they will take more, jobs away from people and all the stuff you know that that is happening but um where does ordinary fit in ordinary in the future is there to also play a role as the source of knowledge of how to make things not to you know for example we're they're worried about global warming and climate change and all this stuff right now you see, those people, if there was ordinary, <laughs> you understand? The, 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 the child you know, go ask exactly, exactly, you know. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> it, 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 fire yeah. in this kitchen. Yeah. yeah. So it, you know, if if there was ordinary in those things, in if there was ordinary in every you know country, let's say there was ordinary in every country, and that is their soul, you know, do, whatever they're doing. Whatever they're doing is their own ordinary. Like they, they consider that as their own ordinary. But the ordinary of the of the ordinary of where ordinary originated from. <laughs> if they they had our ordinary based on its proper principles, you know, we wouldn't be having problems like climate change and all these things. Be you know, better, like you were saying yeah. earlier. Right? So so in in order for ordinary to exist in the future, it requires our people to wake up. It requires our people to recognize the importance of ordinary. And yeah. it's also our responsibility to make sure that they 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 gain the, this knowledge and also you are doing a great job on that as well, you know, for our people to gain the knowledge of our spiritual systems and ordinary and how and basically the more people gain the knowledge and understand the intrinsic value of ordinary the, we are going to be able to see like it's going to exist in the future as in like you know I, like there was a dream I had. Let me. I just want to say. Let me just tell you. There was a crazy dream I had. You know about the future. Like I, yeah. and it, it it's it was like a see. If everything was just like you seen the movie Hunger Game, right? So it was just like that, but it was more like you know it was like the robots that were the ones doing everything to people, and. If we are not careful, okay, we are going to lose nature, knowledge, which is our denial. Yes. And if we lose nature, knowledge, we are finished. So it is our duty to make our become relevant in the future. But I, you know, I, 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 from 2015 up to now, I've seen a lot of things. I've seen people, I've seen so many of our people gaining knowledge and realizing a lot of things. And even you know, a lot of people are also talking about Igbo and a lot of things are on YouTube. So 
and also talking about different different principles in our culture like how we do this and how we do that i've seen some youtube channels that are rising as well doing that and i think that it is very important and i'm speaking specifically for Indigo. in order for us to exist in order if before the urban order now for the it fades off then we are our, our culture is like our hippocampus is going to fade or we're going to lose our memory and eventually become paralyzed because I, I realized that if you cannot be able to use that part of your brain, you wouldn't know how, I wouldn't know how to do this. I wouldn't have done this or wouldn't know how to move our wouldn't know how to move our hands or our legs. So we basically uh, gain have partial stroke or entirely stroke. Right. You know, the, the culture will have stroke. Yeah. You know, because we we'll lose, we we'll lose our memory by losing our memory, and so it is. I think that it is our responsibility to turn ordinary into what we are going to see in the future. So, uh, the future of ordinary depends on us, on depends on how how far the the, the level of foundation we laid. To the, to the next generation but I think that we'll be alright from what we're doing I think that we'll be alright I think that you know you know we are going to it's going to or not it's going to end up being because if you, even if you look at what's going on around I'm, I'm sorry I'm taking too long but if you look yes. at even if you look at what even if you look at what is going on around the world you know like you hear a lot of people are like they're going back to their they're going back to their various cultures and like you know trying to find out things about you know the ancients and like all the stuff you know you know so likewise that's why we have a lot of evil people look looking back into their own culture and, and realizing things so they're trying to find everybody tried the other way yeah yeah it didn't, it didn't work yeah, yeah, I don't want to say that. I don't. I don't want to say that name. But you already know. You know what I was trying to. Say. I was going to say it, it didn't work. So they try yeah. to try this this new yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we need to. That's basically how what will keep ordinary relevant and become something. Ordinary doesn't need to be upgraded or modernized. Thank you me. know. So it, it is just something that it's already in the future. Okay, I like, I like I, 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 you know it, 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 it's a modernized version of the things you're thinking about. You yeah, you understand? It's already there. Yeah, yeah, it's already there. Yeah, because it is knowledge. Yeah, knowledge will always exist. It, it is. It is knowledge that functions through my art, which is all my art, which is all mine. It is ordinary. It's a knowledge that functions through my art. Which is all matter. My art being equilibrium is knowledge that functions through balance, so which we call omat or oman. So it is it already exists in the future. So it is our responsibility to work with it. If we if we abandon ordinary, ordinary doesn't necessarily fade away. It is just there. Right, right. It's like you know, somebody trying to modernize water. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> So, so if we live, if we die, water will be there. Yeah. So, so water their future in the future. Yeah. The water will be there, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it is our responsibility to catch up to the future of ordinary of what it, it is. That. So okay. we, we, yeah, we we need to we need to keep working in the ways of ordinary. If we are lost, if if we are lost, it is not ordinary that is lost. It is us. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we need to it, it, ourselves, right? yes, yes, you know. Yeah, yeah. So anybody who's been asking me to, to, to contribute to any Igbo Bibles or anything like that, <laughs> no, no. listen to my good friend. <laughs> He's telling you what you need to know. You understand? Yes. yes. He's telling you what you need to know that all roads lead to exactly what we're talking about today. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So we 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 don't need to we don't need to. It is us that we need to. What, where do we see ourselves in the future? Good question. We should see ourselves to where Odenani is. It's where we need to be, you know. And because it is not based on artificial intelligence, so it cannot. It is not something that will fade. It is only us that will fade. 
So we need to be more closer to our Denali in order for us to to be remembered for centuries. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a closing statement right yes. there, man. I've never yes. heard one of them. Yeah. So, all right. So um, the Oracle deck is now available. Um, yes. I'll put the link below, and you know, uh, you know, we're virtual, so I got, I have to present you with all G from a distance. Thank you, but, thank you, you brother. Yes, yeah, so y'all believe me. I'll, I'll got did know why. He said, he said, likewise. Y'all believe me. So, likewise, he said, he said. Okay, okay, the line, um, I got that, I got Z, yeah, yeah.